Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 Good Guys Columbus event, and Garrett's had this little uh, 65 Ford Falcon wagon I think you're all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Carl, what a cool wagon, brother. Thank you, Scotty D. Um, this is a, a pretty cool wagon in our opinion. A customer here, local in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we've done some work on a few other vehicles. He's got some cool Fords, a Conaline pickup and a uh, Ford Bronco early stuff. But definitely a Ford guy, true, true blue Ford guy. So he has this uh, 65 Falcon wagon, four-door. It was a pretty nice car to come in. You know, unlike a lot of some of the things we do are like complete builds. I mean, th this car was in good, uh, good enough shape to where we just did the body work and then some fabrication and uh, helped them get some things running on it. But the customer did quite a bit of work himself, too. Was it running and driving when it came in? No. So he, he put a crate motor in it, a uh, Ford Performance 302 crate motor, AOD. Um, he actually had the engine built up a little bit. It's got trick flow heads, comp cams. We talked him into that uh, nice Borla fuel injection system, just just to spruce it up a little bit, give it some nice classic uh, hot rod look and some cool aluminum features, you know, aluminum valve covers, just make it a nice cruiser. Right on. No, it's got a really nice look to it, and you don't see very many of these Falcon wagons. No, and so it's it's funny because he has a two door wagon as well, and you know, like just like in the Chevy world. People want the Nomads more than the four-door wagons. There's a lot of neat chrome and trim on this. If you look at it, there's some cool side trim. The uh, roof rack, like we, that, that top was completely, uh, you know, the body work to get that so it's super smooth. But all that uh, chrome roof rack, the side trim, all the grill pieces, everything. Uh, Paul's custom chrome did the chrome plating and straightened everything out in the stainless. And uh, so, yeah, they're kind of a, kind of a fancy i wouldn't say a full-size wagon because they are a little smaller than your uh right. other wagons that are yeah. out there like you say like a nova or something that kind of that that smaller not the full-size cars of the days but a little bit smaller car of it. what color right. is it so the color is uh it's house of color true blue and then uh we've got a mixture of our uh tungsten silver that we like to use on a few of our cars that looked really good as a two-tone version of that and uh just to give it some sleekness and then the, the windows of course we decided to go ahead and have them darken those out if you look in the back glass or the door the rear door the passenger doors took the vent glass out on that and then uh darken those and uh just to give it like a nice cool look he owns one of those ford of oh, those flex vehicles you know so he kind of likes that he's a wagon guy you know he likes that right. kind of look so we, we get went ahead and and did all that. Did the Ken Diggett door uh, latches on the, uh, the the driver and passenger door, and then we shaved them on the rear door. So just to give it like a clean look, but it's still a four door. Not a no ton, way. not a ton of heavy fabrication work, but just a little bit to make it a little different than any of the other ones that are out there. Right on the engine compartment, the inner fenders took the stock ones out and, and made some, you know, some nice metal working and styling on it. It's it's got Willwood brakes, and uh, so like. You know, some of the things on the inside and the firewall, he didn't want to get crazy smoothing it out, uh, but did the nice cleanup on it. So we've got some, uh, you know, metal shaping, the metal parts that we, we did to touch up some of that. But again, make it functional so he can drive it. So this one, you know, we do some high-end builds, but we don't want to discount that the fact that, you know, we'll do uh, bits and pieces of a project uh, when, when we can get that in the shop and in the Obviously, we have a paint and body shop, so that was it made sense for him to bring it to us to do those touches. I like the uh, wood that you used in the back on the floor, too. What's that about? We did that in our 57 Chevy wagon, the uh, Cal Air, and it just makes a nice utilitarian type of look. So when you fold the seats down, you have a wood floor. So if he's traveling, he wants to put everything in the back. It, it's durable, but it looks cool, kind of brings that truck look inside of it and uh, just breaks it up from having... You know, a giant amount of carpet, which, you know, kind of looks cool, but this kind of just makes it stand out when that uh, tailgate's open in the back window, which it slides down. It's some neat features, like the factory features on that tailgate are just unique. Um, so just kind of helps show that off. Uh, again, the, the seats, um, actually he took the seats out of a Ford Focus, and they're like power, six-way power adjustable seats. With the dash, you know, we, we kept the stock looking dash 
panel, but um, changed over with auto meter gauges. You know, just kind of give it. Again, this this vehicle is definitely meant for a cruiser. You know, a little bit higher end cruiser, but like no no doubt, you can definitely take it on the road, go on a on a road trip or a vacation with it, and have fun. Yeah, no, I think that's a good point you brought up. I mean, we cover a lot of high end builds on Scotty DTV, and we've covered our share there at Garrett's. You just had the uh, P thirty three come out this year. So, um, I think it is good to bring to people and let them know that hey, not everything has to be. Uh, deep six-figure build you know you can make yeah. a cool cruiser too and i think y'all nailed it on this one i think it's a unique car i like how you two-toned it where you used your cutoffs at like yeah i'm down with that wood in the back because again it's a little bit unique and um you know makes it look more functional car sits right it's got good performance in it no i don't i wouldn't change a thing put the keys in it and drive it forever right yeah and we say like the good you know, you've ridden some of our cars. Uh, the front end, uh, the customer got rod and custom uh, Mustang two suspension. So I guess they're, you know, what we learned from him because he's such a Ford guy that they're handle a lot of the Falcon world is that rod and custom company and the conversion kit. And, um, uh, you know, I, hey, remember at Columbus, I drove around the fairgrounds a little bit to go get us some sandwiches. That's and, right. Uh, it was a, a true grocery getter, right? It was a true that grocery day, getter that saved day. Our life. <laughs> right saved on. our life that day. But people like it, the Riddler wheels, 17-inch Riddler. The customers are big on, he loves spinner caps. You know, it's just, I, yeah. some customers have a certain affection for different items. And he's like, he had those made, like, at a machine shop. He took Krager ones and then had them fit to fit those particular wheels. So they're not plastic ones or aluminum uh, spinner caps and yeah overall you know it sounds good uh, you know the exhaust uh our typical like flow master we, we actually did an x exhaust and had it ceramic coated and so all the typical things you would do to a hot rod to make it nice fit function and performance right on no i think y'all killed it i think it turned out nice thank you so there you go from the 2022 Good Guys Columbus event, a 1965 Ford Falcon Wagon Garrett's Rod Shop. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.